The Norden bombsite was a Second World War innovation with a reputation that far exceeded its actual capabilities. During pre-war testing, the Norden demonstrated that it was capable of dropping weapons to within 75 feet, which was an astonishing performance for that time. This precision would enable direct attacks on ships, factories, and other point targets. For this reason, the U.S. military spent massive $1.5 billion in 1940s dollars. To put this in perspective, the entire Manhattan Project costs roughly $3 billion. But unfortunately, in the real war, less than 50% of the bombs fell within a quarter mile of the target. The Navy, for example, recognized the problem early on and switched to dive bombing almost immediately. The British, also recognizing the futility of precision bombing, and chose to firebomb entire German cities. True precision air attacks were not feasible until the advent of laser-guided bombs toward the end of the Vietnam War. Now, of course, we have GPS-guided munitions which make life easier, at least, for the pilots.